This has to stop. I'm going to repeat. Hello, my name is Elora Traits, and I'm in sixth grade at Felix Festa. I'm here to express that I no longer feel safe within the four walls at Festa, and I feel that my freedom has been taken away from me. I have been waiting since second grade for swimming during school at Festa, only now to find out I'm sharing a locker room with a trans female who may still have a penis. I do not feel comfortable being exposed to that, and I no longer feel safe. This has nothing to do with any being a bad person. It is simply that I do not feel mature enough to view any man's penis, whether they identify as a female or a man. A penis is a penis. With all this said, I'm going to ask you, the school board with whom we put our trust in to reverse your previous decision and accommodate the comforts of typical students like me, as well as trans students by creating specific separate gender neutral spaces. Thank you for your time and consideration. Next speaker. We have two more student speakers, Sophia Vecchio and Julia Zapata. If anyone else, if you want to sit. Good evening, board members. My name is Sophia Beccarello, and I'm speaking on behalf of many people in and outside of this room. I'm a 10th grade Clarkstown South student, student athlete, and this is not an I hate you speech. Private spaces are one of the most important things in a growing boy or girl's life. Private spaces we as children go to recognize the change within us and our bodies, a spot to be vulnerable. Such spots of vulnerability and privacy should be treated with a sense of understanding and care. What is privacy when just anyone can come in? Allowing girls to invade in boys' spaces and vice versa, you are opening doors and windows for many sexual harassment risks. If a content a situation is endangering the life and sanity of a child, it should immediately be overruled. Such members who disagree with this statement must resign. But this, again, is not a hate speech. The United States for generations has been known as a melting pot with many different cultures and religions. Cultures and religions that are strictly against showing off any part of the human body to the opposite sex. How would any of us co-live if we can't accommodate each other? Everyone should feel safe, but I and my fellow students are being forced to sign petitions to allow these things to follow through. It becomes bullying. You are not teaching me to be okay with who you are. You are pushing me to show my vulnerable parts to somebody I may not trust. But this is not a hate speech. This is a 15 year old student who is affected by the decisions you push upon us. I am the child on the other side of this, and I and my friends want our sense of privacy to be valued by the higher ups. Good evening, Board of Education. My name is Julia Zapata, and I go here at Clarkstown South. I stand before you all again tonight, not just as a voice amidst our student body, but as someone deeply concerned about the direction our school's policies are heading, especially regarding bathroom and locker room access. I'd like to begin with a hypothetical scenario that highlights the absurdity we're facing. If I identify myself as any of the five board members who back the controversial bathroom policy, does that mean I can alter the policy or even resign on their behalf? Of course not, because me just saying it doesn't make it true. The district guidelines would compel you to affirm my identity, right? This just showcases the ludicrous nature of the policies we're debating. This policy change has sparked fear among a significant portion of our student population, particularly girls who now feel their safety and privacy are compromised. The idea that facilities should be accessed based on self-identification rather than biological sex is not just troubling. It's a blatant disregard for the well-being of students. Moreover, the South Thorns movement claims to advocate for inclusivity, but let's be clear. Their efforts, including the questionable collection of signatures via QR codes and restrooms, do not accurately represent the voices of all girls in our district. Their petition on an open flat platform like change.org, where anyone from anywhere can sign, further dilutes the authenticity of their support. This does not reflect a true consensus among us. To allow individuals in the bathrooms and locker rooms that do not align with their biological sex is beyond discomforting. It is frankly lunacy and unacceptable. This isn't about denying rights or excluding anyone. 
It's about ensuring that every student's right to privacy and safety is upheld. In light of these issues, it's paramount that we call into question the judgment of those board members who have pushed for these divisive changes. Therefore, I firmly believe it's time for those members to step down and to make way for leadership that prioritizes the safety, dignity, and voices of all students in our district and not just the minute minority. As we stand at this pivotal moment, our policies must reflect a balance that honors every student's right to privacy and safety without compromise. I hope we can work towards solutions that truly respect and protect our community. What's currently happening is that our trusted board is in alignment with the degradation of the moral fabric of our community. Thank you for allowing me for the opportunity to share my concerns. And I hope for a future where our policies are shaped by empathy, respect, and a genuine commitment to the welfare of all students. I no longer feel safe. That's what the younger said. This is today's America, my friend, and some people have lost their dang mind. We now have youngers addressing school board and basically begging them to please reverse stupid decision that can put them in danger. And you can thank liberal for that. I said it. If you care, this is happening at Clarkstown Central School District in New York. Of course, New York. A bunch of liberals you know what the sad part is regarding this video is this type of situation is happening all over the country it's happening right now but most people don't care about it god bless this young girl for speaking up god bless you and your family for the love of god please take care of your children especially if you live in a democrat run state or cities Catch you on the next one. I'm here to express that I no longer feel safe within the four walls at FESTA.